Yes, it's time to talk about the Wasteland Workshop. And can we talk? Yes, we can. Okay, the first thing I noted is that although I have been trying to collect a lot of junk and I've been buying a lot of junk, I don't think I bought 316 machine gun turrets worth of junk. I'm fairly certain. 42 laser turrets, I'm fairly certain that uh, Bethesda's given us a gift here with the Wasteland Workshop Pack here where we've gotten a whole bunch of junk to start us off, and I think that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Thank you, Bethesda. I have to admit, I'm probably going to build just 100, build 42 laser turrets. That's what could happen. More like heavy laser turrets. Or what would happen if you just built 630 wall mounted spotlights? Hmm. Another thing they've done is those vendors that sell shipments of concrete now sell three times as much. You can get a shipment of concrete for 100. Or a shipment of concrete for 200 Or get both if you want, because apparently they're expecting you to use a lot of concrete to do some major building here. Thunderdomes don't come cheap. But by far, this is my favorite part of the update. Look at this thing. It is beautiful. And uh, no, you can't eject the fusion core, but it is beautiful. Yes, you need level 4 signs to get it, but at least that's what it read. I actually haven't checked that. Is that something that comes up? Does it show you on that? Let's see. Power generators. Yeah, you need rank 4 signs. You need 12 gears, 10 screws, 20 copper, 25 aluminum, 12 nuclear material. material. 12 nuclear material. I can say it. I can even say nuclear properly. Crystal, eight, and two rubber. But it's so worth it because it produces 100 power. And, and listen, and listen. How quiet is that? That this is, where have you been all my life? Or at least all my game. Of course, the main deal here is this whole concept of cages and traps and building arenas where you can basically have your settlers fight each other. You have a, a blue team and a red team, and whoever you assign to the blue team will be hostile to the red team, and whoever you assign to the rest team will be hostile to the blue team. You can have your settlers fight each other to the death, or you can cap use captured uh, creatures and assign them to the arenas. And of course you can build elaborate arenas. Now, Tamed creatures, let's talk about that first. To tame creatures, you need a beta wave emitter, and for that you need rank one of the animal friend and rank one of the wasteland whisper, in which I have neither. So the most I could do is unleash hostile things into my encampment. Okay, we have also have a quitting time siren so that you could basically call your sellers to relax. That means you're calling them to watch the mayhem and the bloodshed as you unleash these caged animals next to there. Here we have large cages, a Brahmin, Death Claws. I, can, I could capture and then unleash a, an angry Death Claw to my encampment right now. Um, can't tame him yet. But uh, here's the interesting thing too. You can tame a Death Claw and then you'll actually help in the defense of your encampment. But then according to the wiki at least, your encampment will then be attacked by Death Claws more frequently. Now, this is a losing proposition. This is not a winning proposition. This is, this is a lose uh, as far as I can see. Unless you've got, you know, a complete uh, fortress set up and you really want to test it. If you want to see if your guns can keep out a whole bunch of angry Death Claws, um, oh, look it, I got one up there. See him? He, he shows up there periodically. And if I let him be, he'll just, he'll just be. Uh, these guns are almost enough to slow him down. I have to help out a little bit, because usually at this level, he's like an alpha death claw or something, or legendary or something. But you can, you can do death claws, mic lurks, rad scorpions, there's other size cages, you can feral ghouls, gunners... <laughs> Free guns, caps, and ammo. An insect cage. Raider cage! Just 
put some put some chems in there and then it traps them in there. So you can have I don't know, I guess you can tame raiders and have them wandering around like they're parts of your settlement, but then raiders are gonna attack it more often. And so super mutant cages, same deal. I don't know if the if the if the beta wave emitters work on everything. That's that's something that will have to be seen. Small cages, cat cage. We're gonna build a cat cage. We're gonna build it right up here where the power is. We'll see if he can get down. That's that's a cages let you capture a variety of creatures and enemies. Cages will only work when powered. They have a chance to catch something while you sleep or while you're away from your settlement. You'll catch something within a week or less. Once you've caught something in your cage, you can release it whenever you want by cutting the power to the cage. The cage will also open if it's damaged. Note that keeping caged creatures or enemies will increase the chance of your settlement being a cat attacked. Well, keeping captured creatures and enemies will increase the chance of your settlement being attacked. So it tells you that. That's not like a, a guess. So if I just put a cat in this in, in this settlement... Will be more likely to be attacked in general, or will be more likely to be attacked by cats, or is a cat kind of a neutral thing? Some captured creatures are always tame. Some hostile, unless you have a beta wave emitter turned on when the creature is released. Captured raiders, gunners, and supermoons all are always hostile. So we've answered all the questions right here just by trying to catch a cat. All right, we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna try and catch a cat. Wire it up. Requires power. All right. I know what you're saying. How the heck is a cat going to get on the roof? Trust me. If you know cats, you know this is not an unreasonable place to put a cat cage. I've had my cats on the roof. Seriously. You don't have them anymore, sadly, but they've been on the roof. So am I likely to build a, a Thunderdome here at the uh, at the slog? And, and for, for those of you who don't know what a Thunderdome is, um, yeah, I can't believe you don't know what a Thunderdome is if you're playing this game. First of all, you're probably old enough, and second of all, you're probably into the whole Mad Max thing, and if, and if you're not, then you should be, because if you like Fallout 4, you will like, you will like that whole deal. There's so much of this is inspired by the whole Mad Max series, but... The odds of me creating a battle arena where I capture capture creatures and have them fight my settlers or fight each other or anything like that here at this log, very minimal. There's a chance someday I'll do it just to do it. Maybe once I take Spectacle Island. Spectacle Island actually would probably be the best spot for it, I think. It's got supposedly the, one of the largest areas available and uh, it's named well enough. Come to Spectacle Island, watch the bloodshed and the mayhem as death claws tear the arms off of groups of raiders. I mean, you know, you could do stuff like that. But, on the flip side, that doesn't really fit in with, you know, my character's idiom. I mean, here I am, I'm the general of the Minutemen trying to help people. I'm helpful. Look how helpful he is. He's a nice guy. He's a helpful, helpful person. He just wants everyone to get along, and that's not really fitting in with building a Thunderdome. Now, maybe, maybe somewhere along the line, when I'm hanging out with Kate, or, uh, or uh, you know, the old Mayor McCreary over there, that's uh, Mayor McCready, then maybe that's something they'll be into, and then maybe I'll have a reason to try and make him happy by watching just a lot of bad things go on. But for the time being. I don't see myself building Thunderdomes. I just, you know, it's, it's not calling to me. It's not really my style of play. And I don't feel terribly bad like I'm neglecting you, the viewer, in that you're not going to get a lot of videos here of Thunderdome action because there's going to be a lot of that all over YouTube, I'm fairly certain, pretty soon. This actually looks like I've electrified my head. That's an interesting thing it's with the, that scene. It's just an optical illusion. But the um, there's going to be a lot of that, and I may contribute to it at some point. I don't know. It's going to be when the mood strikes me. In the meantime, how the mood kind of strikes me uh, with all this extra junk that the Bethesda has 
so kind to give us to try and kickstart this wasteland workshop. Well, it's going to go into uh, things like this. You know, the whole love the lights, love the lights, that's a cool thing. It's going to go into maybe some upgrades so I don't have uh, all these old power generators running. I might do that slowly. I did here to demonstrate, but it, um, that's going to be a slow and gradual process. You know. Hey, you, you mind keeping an eye out for a second? What? Hey, what did I miss? Oh, I'm gonna keep an eye out for a second because you're gonna take a seat. All right. Couldn't quite hear him. Um, obviously I did. Just took a moment to process. So I mean, it's, might do some slow upgrades here. You know, it's not really necessary. That works as well as that. It's just you know, for what I've got used for. It's just that now that is no longer necessary if you got one of those. So look forward to all my future uh, encampments being fusion powered but now 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 you know what we're gonna do you know how we're gonna do this well first of all this is a good reminder of one other feature that they've added which I think I should probably add right now we'll put it right here next to wow next to this guy over here I mean, we'll put it right behind him Next to the clinic. It's a clinic kind of related thing. But where do they have it here? Is it under resources? Underwater. Miscellaneous. Garden plots. That's kind of a nice thing. Scavenging stations. A bell. A siren. Where the heck did they put the... Um, crafting? Not under crafting. Is it a random thing under power? Yeah, I, I kind of want the uh, the radiation at this point. Well, look at this. L I'm losing frame rate. I haven't had that happen in a while. Let me go through and find this. Ah, here it is under power miscellaneous. Yes, the decontamination arch. Eh, we'll put it right in over here next to clothing. That'll be close enough. Requires two power. And of course, it requires two power, so what are we going to build? May as well, right? <laughs> Put it somewhere where we can perhaps pile on that off to other things. And we need the... Um, do the whole wire thingy. And let's see if this works. How does it work? Activate. Now is it a push button every time or can I just keep going back and forth? <laughs> All right. Why would you turn it off? I mean, obviously, the fact that we wasting huge amounts of water would make no sense. It's like I'm playing in the sprinklers as a kid. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, I like the decontamination arch. That's good. No, but what we're going to do today is let's count it off here. We need one, two, three. Four, five, six more robots. Or bored people. We have some bored people. Not nah, looking that way. So we need six more robots and then our junk stations will be manned. Craft. New automaton. I figured out, by the way, that if you send a robot to another place, you have to build a robot station there or you can't modify it. You can store it right after that. But... 
That's one. Let's just, let's assign them as we go here. Okay, 122. Here. Good. And rinse, lather, repeat. Ah, I can only do four of them. I only needed five, really. It turns out five to get those back up. I did need another one for the guns. Look at that. After all that, after all the, the gifts of Bethesda, these things are so expensive. You build four robots with no upgrades, and you're basically out of stuff again. That's a little automatron trivia for you there. They're expensive dealios. But now at least I have vastly increased my junk production as I do other things to get me more junk. I feel like there's some deeply uh, philosophical statement about life there, and I don't know what it means. Most underutilized generator in the entire Commonwealth. So am I going to use the Wasteland Workshop? Sure, absolutely. I love the way these letters snap, by the way. They, they definitely got this right. Is it worth the $5 price of a mission? Well, if you're into building settlements... It's, if you're into building settlements, it's worth it just for the generator, really, as far as I'm concerned. Now, this is just cool. And if you're into building a real Mad Maxian sort of deathmatch arena where you can see things beat the ever-living crap out of each other. Yeah, it's certainly worth that, too. Or if you just really wanted a cat. There you have it. It's a kitty. You could probably do this with a switch. I've been lazy, because I don't know that we need many more than one cat. Let me see. How, would, how much does it take to rebuild this? Uh, soft shell Mylark meat. you got to really want a cat. Alright, we'll get him a buddy. Just so that he's not a lonely cat. And then... Should we do this right? Should we just do it with a... Do the whole power you know, switches, powered pylon, power conduits. Switch. There you go. Kickball removed. Okay, well. Wire that to that. Right, we should be able to, right? Come on. Okay, we need to talk. You should be able to put the darn switch on the thing. This is... Okay, fine. Uh, here... Nope, stop it. Store that switch in the workshop. Where should we put the switch? Where can we put the switch? Can we put it on the powered pylon? That might make it a switchable pylon. We don't want that. Can't put it on the ground. We have to build a wall with this sort of stick. All right, over here. That'll work. Kind of stupid, but we'll do it. I can live with stupid. Okay. That's not. No, we don't want to switch that on and off. <sighs> No wrong button. You know what we're gonna do? Typical engineer. Just wire it up. <laughs> but if you don't have it, there's no need to panic. I don't think there's anything really exceptionally game-changing here, unless you're really, really, really into settlements. That's about... This is a settlement DLC, as far as I can tell. 
if you're just wandering the wastes, might actually get in your way because now you're going to have to put more points into Animal Friend and all that kind of thing. And, you know, of course, if you're wandering the wastes, that might be a good thing to do. So it's not a critical DLC. This isn't a must-have, but, you know, for me, it's a very, very happy to have because you get to do stuff like this. It definitely enhances the experience of the game, especially if you like to build stuff. This is a Black Knight. Have a great night, everybody. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. Looks like she's trying to get better tips. Yep, definitely trying to get better tips. I have a feeling that's going to work for her. But she's kept the hat. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Don't you lose yourself, yeah. baby. You stay who you are. What? What? Okay, what I did was I gave everybody a little some road leathers here. Just so that they have better damage protection. You know, they won't be cold in the mornings. 